Hi, I'm Tinny from Mini Bowl Design, and today I'm going to talk about jackknives. Now, knives is something that well, people are real opinionated about. Depending on where you live and what kind of backpacking you do, you're going to need a totally different knife. So I can only do this from, unfortunately, because I'm not superhuman, at least I like to admit it, uh, I can only do this from a standpoint of a person living in central Maine, because that's where I live, and the, and the places I pack, and the way I pack, I can only give you my input on what I'm looking for in a knife. So, let's get started. When I first started out, I thought that I would start out with something really lightweight when I started paying attention to knives. I mean, after all, I'd met people in the woods that just had a single-edge razor blade. That's all they carried. So I figured this was like tenfold overkill, and that's all I was ever need, you know. And, uh, you know, I, I kind of changed my opinion after I had this for a little while, because this really made me start looking at knives. First off, right up front, it doesn't have a very good blade. It's real narrow, and it's, it's virtually impossible to put an edge on this blade, even with some mechanical tools, you know, that are specially designed for putting on a good accurate edge. You just won't take an edge. And what's even worse is if you do get somewhat of an edge on it, it loses it almost immediately. It's just uh, it's not a very good blade. Second off, the blade's really narrow and thin. It's pretty easy to snap off. Uh, I think it might work good if you were doing origami to get down in tight spots and, and kind of push the paper down in corners and stuff like that. But I really think this design, this knife is designed as a letter opener. That blade to me looks like a letter opener blade. And I don't know about you, but I don't get that much mail out on the trail, so I really don't have much use for that part of it. Uh, second off, it's got this tool, which was suspect right away to me. I guess it's designed for cleaning your fingernails, and then on the back it's got a kind of a iron oxide thing to file your nails. You know, well, you know, if I'm going to put on a strapless dress and stiletto heels, I might, you know, need to touch up my nails, but uh, I don't think I need a knife, you know, that's dedicated to uh, to taking care of your nails. It's also got these little little tiny scissors that, uh, well, they're not really good for anything. Maybe they would be good for, I don't know, trimming your nails. So I had this for quite a while and was backpacking with some guys, and I, I showed them this knife, and we discussed it one night by the campfire, and and they really gave me some insight. The guy said that these scissors were specifically designed by Swiss Army so that if you got a piece of uh, floss caught in your teeth, you could put these right up next to the floss and snip it off. And that's the only thing he could ever see they were any good for, and I, I tend to agree with him. So, uh, It's also got a, a pair of tweezers that I won't even take out and show to you because they're so sad. It makes me want to cry. And a plastic toothpick, which I, I really think, for all practical purposes, a guy could take the toothpick out and keep it and throw the knife away and he'd be just as far ahead of the game. But, hey, that's just me. Okay, so from there I went to what I thought would be, you know, big, robust, a lot better knife. And it's, it's just, this knife's got a lot of stuff. Big thing on it was I like a pair of pliers. The pliers are really handy. Not these pliers, but real pliers are, are pretty handy because... You can get into a tight spot where you never could get with your fingers and, and pull the end of a piece of rope out if it's stuck, if you're threading it through something. Or, or you can grab onto a nut and loosen and tighten a nut with it. Or, you know, you can cut wire with it here. Or you can pull out a porcupine quill with it. A pair of pliers are a real versatile tool. Not these, but real pliers are. Now, the problem with these is they're too thick on the end. They don't have any return on them, so... You have to keep your finger in back of them to open them and close them. And what the thing I really hate about them is if you really want to get onto something and bear down on it, your fingers are going right across. That's it. Open sheet metal. Just round it off a little bit. Very uncomfortable. And I really think I could fold these up with just my bare hand. I'm, I'm a pretty strong guy, but smell doesn't account for everything. And on top of it, it comes with a, a, a really coarse double cross file that I've never found any use for. There's a lot of other tools in here and well I'm not even going to dig them out because to be perfectly honest you have to have another jackknife to really get them out without hurting your fingers. And uh, it does have a blade. I'll get that out here so you can see that. Fold everything back. 
and does have a blade. Probably the worst blade I've ever seen. I think it's made out of, uh, I don't know, Pepsi cans or something, but you can get a good edge on it, but just it doesn't last any time at all. It's, it's really poor metal. I don't know what it is. And uh, my favorite feature, uh, measuring. You know, I do a lot of measuring out in, the, out in the wilderness. A lot of measuring. Yep, nice knife. Okay, well then, I don't even know where I got this, but I carried this for a while. I didn't actually, to be perfectly honest, I didn't carry it on the trail. It was too heavy. The thing weighs a ton. But I carried it in my pocket for just everyday use. And the number one thing I carried it for was, it's got a real nice thing for cleaning the epoxy off underneath my fingernails after making stoves. And it's got a real nice uh, oxide uh, abrasive to file your fingernails, you know, just before I go to the big party. Uh, and it's got some pretty decent screwdrivers on it. They're not real sharp on the end, but they're, they're not bad. And let's see what else they get here. Oh, it's actually got a blade too, but this blade sucks. Really bad blade. Once again, it's polished stainless steel, real poor quality, doesn't hold an edge for beans. Not impressed. It really aggravates me when I get a really nice knife like this, and the one thing that I actually carry it for, of course, would be the, the main blade, and the blade's a real disappointment. Oddly shaped, just not impressed with that blade. Uh, but, got a real nice pair of scissors. What I use them for? Well, uh, the thing with scissors is, you can... Uh, you can, you know, like cut moleskin with them. They'd come in handy for that. They're a real nice pair of scissors. And they're pretty comfortable to use. And you can see they've got a good spring on them. And I carried this knife basically because I really like these scissors. But, here's the problem, and you'll see it in the next knife. Most knives have either a pair of scissors or a pair of pliers. Now, if you're out backpacking... And anything you can do with a pair of scissors, if you're, if you're in a tough spot, can probably do the same thing with a knife. You know, a knife will do anything a scissor will do. Not as easily, but it'll do it. But, if you're out in the wilderness and you don't have a pair of pliers and you need to turn a knot or pull a cord through something or, or pull something out of your skin... You're not going to do it with anything that I know of except a pair of pliers. So, so I always carry a knife with a pair of pliers in lieu of a pair of scissors. So there's two things I always look for in a knife. One is a good pair of pliers, preferably fairly narrow so I can get into a tight spot with them, but yet robust enough so I can, you know, take a screw out. And I want to step in them so I can get onto a nut, and these have that. And a pair of wire cutters, well... I don't cut much wire in the, in the wild, but it's a nice touch. So, the other thing that I, that I absolutely will not tolerate in a knife is a bad blade. And this one, along with the nice pliers with the spring return, actually has a high quality blade. You put an edge on this, and it hangs onto it. I've sharpened this once, and, it, and it's, it's a good sharp blade. It really stands up well, and it's, it's not the best looking blade, but it works well. So with this blade and this good pair of pliers, this is basically the knife I carry for now. It's got some other tools on it, you know, it's got some a leather punch, and it's got some small screwdrivers. And what I really like about the screwdrivers is, unlike this one and this one, all these screwdriver blades on these have been made and then tumbled. Well, when they tumble them, the blades, the screwdriver blades aren't sharp, sharp anymore. They're just all, all rounded over on the ends. This one is especially bad. It looks like a canoe paddle on the ends of the blades. So when you go to get into a, the head of a screw and turn it, it'll usually ruin the screw if you put any pressure on it. And this one has some fairly sharp blades. They've actually got an edge on them that hasn't been tumbled to death. And, instead of having a big, coarse file, it's got a small, fairly fine file on one side that's coarser on the other. So if you need to file a burr off of a knot or, or a shaft that's been burred up or something on a stove, 
this is actually a feasible file to use. So between the file and the pliers and the good blade on it and the fact that it's really small and it's made by Leatherman, hey, life is good. This is my pick. I'm sure for a lot of people, including Les Stroud, this, this wouldn't be the animal, but for the limited amount of use I have uh, uh, use a knife for, right now, that's my favorite. So, I'm Tinny from Mini Bull Design. Have a great day. Bye-bye.